Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for TipSquirrel.com, that free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we're going to use frames from video to make a composite image. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop, and the first thing I need to do is bring in my video. Now, you may be used to importing videos to edit, but we don't want to do it this way. We don't want a timeline. Instead, I'm going to go to File and Import and then video frames to layers. When I do that, the new dialog box picks up and I want to choose penguins for my example here. I'm going to click open. Now in this dialog box, we've got some choices to make. I don't really want to go from beginning to end because if I use this little slider here, the playhead, you can see that we have a lot of dead time before any penguins come into frame. So in fact, I want to start it around about here. So with this marker, I can say from this point. Similarly, I can tell it only until, let's find a nice out point somewhere like that. So instead of the full 32 seconds, I'm just going to bring in this portion. Now, because it's so long and not a lot happens within a second, and I want to composite this anyway, I'm going to tell it to limit the amount of frames. Now, this was shot on an iPhone 6 at 30 frames per second. So I reckon I'm going to get away with 10 frames. So every 10 frames, I'm going to bring in a layer. I don't want to make a frame animation at this point. In fact, not at all. All I want is the layers. Next, I'm going to click OK. Now, if I'd gone from beginning to end, I would have had 960 layers for a 32 second piece of footage. And that would have given me a warning here to say there was going to be a lot of frames. I'm going to click OK and I don't get the warning because I've cut it down to around about 30 or 40. So here's my footage in. And what I want to do now is go and have a look and see the top frame. So I've got a scrolly wheel on my mouse that's helping me go up and down here, by the way. Let's just close down the adjustments, give us a bit more room. I've got 45 frames, and at the moment, I can only see layer 45. If I click the eyeball here, you'll see that I can then scooch down. Now, I want to turn all these off, and the easiest way to do that is click and hold on this eyeball, and then start dragging down, and then keep held down, and go off the bottom, and you'll see that I scooch my way all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to put layer 1 back on. Now, this is a good starting point. I've got a penguin here on the left-hand side. I'm going to go and turn layers on and off to try and find the next layer that I want. That one looks good. Maybe this one, though. So layer 5 is where I'm going to be working from. I'm going to go back up to the top here. And you'll see that layer 45 is now active. And if I click New Layer, I can then create a new layer on the top to put my composite, or at least the first part of my composite. To make a copy of the penguin, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool and I'm going to use a line here and I'm going to ask it to sample all layers. So anything it sees on screen, that's what it's going to sample. So I know now that I'm going to be sampling this penguin. So I go and click Alt and click down and then I can just paint him on. Now it doesn't look like anything's happening because obviously I'm painting on top of him. There we go. But if I use my scrolly wheel to go back down and turn the visibility of that layer off, there's my penguin. Okay, I'm going to come up a few more. That was a good one. The penguin at the top left-hand corner is what I want from here. I'm going to create a new layer because layer 46 was already selected. and now on layer 47. Alt, click, and then just bring it in just like that. There we go. There we are. All nicely done. I'm going to scooch back down and turn the visibility of that layer off. And so I can carry on doing that. There's a nice one too. I can just carry on until I get the composite that I want. So I'm going to carry on doing that. I'll see you back here in just a moment. OK, so I've been busy away putting more penguins in, and I've got up to layer 23. And now on this layer, there's a penguin just there that I'd like to put in, but I want him in the foreground. But I've got this in front, these bubbles made by this penguin in the background, so I may have a bit of an issue. Because I'm sampling all layers. Well, I'm going to go back up to the top. I'm going to create a new layer as I have been all the way through. But now I'm going to turn these layers off because one of them has 
those bubbles. I think it's this one. Then all I've got to do is just copy that now. There we go. And I'm going to be a little bit more careful here because I don't want to go too far over where the bubbles are because it'll give the game away a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to fill him in. There we go. Right, let's see how we've done. I bring these back and sure enough, there he is in front of the bubbles. So now I can carry on going through my layers. Okay, last one now. I'm going to create a new layer and then Alt and click and just bring this one in that's a little bit down the bottom there. And maybe this bit over here too. There we are. All right, now I'm going to take that layer off and there is my finished composite of all my penguins. I can click on layer 45 in my case and then click on layer 2 holding down the Shift key and that'll select them all. I can just drag them down and put them in the trash can. Now with layer one selected, shift and click on the layer 54, right click, and I can convert them to a smart object. And now I've got one single layer, which is a composite of all my others. And I can do whatever I like to that. I'm actually gonna go into camera raw, I think, and just give this a little bit of a tweak. There we go, let's bring the shadows down a little bit, make them a little bit darker. There we go, and a little bit of clarity and bring the saturations down just a little bit. There we go. That'll do me for now. I'm going to click OK. And there you can see that the camera raw filter has been added to the bottom of my layer. So there we go. We've made a composite of video layers right here inside Photoshop. I'm Eric Grano. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to check out more at tipsquirrel.com for all your Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. Bye-bye for now.